So I'm Bert Çalı. Uh, I am in the Robotics Engineering Program and Computer Science Department. And my lab is in uh, 85 Prescott. It is called Manipulation and Environmental Robotics Lab, uh, in which we identify problems, environmental problems that robots can help and try to provide solutions. So one of those problems is waste management problem. And uh, I will talk about it uh, today. This is how the waste management problem looks like. This is the World Bank report. Um, in every continent all around the world, we are creating more and more waste. And it is really an increasing trend, and it is growing really fast. In 2013, we were uh, producing 1.8 billion tons of trash. Uh, and in three years, it grew to 2 billion tons of trash. And the trend is going on. What happens to this? Either landfill or ends up in the ocean. Both of them are uh, disastrous because landfills are also uh, uh, overloaded at this time. So recycling is the solution for this, but how does it really work and how we can help it work better? So as you know, we put all our recyclables into the same bin, right? Like plastics, paper, metal, glass, all in the same bin. What happens then is that there is a sorting facility actually that sorts all these into separate streams that, we, that the processing facilities can process. In this sorting facility, as you can see, there's a very key part of the uh, process. Uh, if you want to see how your trash ends up, it ends up like this. Um, it is a complete mess. Remember, you need to separate all this trash with respect to their materials, right? It's an extremely difficult job. And it's a dirty, dangerous, and dull job. There are um, human workers working here uh, that they get injured very frequently, much uh, in higher rates than uh, any other industry uh, almost. And so please look at this, how the conveyor moves in front of them, right? So it's actually, conveyor is moving fast because we have so much trash to uh, process. Uh, and still, they need to do a good, uh, great job. And even if they do their best, it is not possible to separate this trash, which means that we have inaccuracies, uh, inefficiencies. And these inefficiencies either uh, make the recycled product useless, or uh, we cannot really export these products. For example, China was accepting these products re uh, until recently, but then they started saying that, okay, we only accept plastic with 85% purity, which means that if you have a bunch of plastic bottles and just one Coke can, you are done, right? So what's happening, these uh, trash is accumulating and accumulating, and robotics can be a solution for this, uh, because it can provide a safer, cleaner, and uh, more efficient solution. But it's an extremely difficult job. Even if we look at the similar industries like uh, warehouse management, um, where you basically bin picking, picking items from a bin, this problem is not solved yet, even though it's much simpler, much structured envi uh, environment. But we should start from somewhere, right? But what we, sh what we can do is to uh, have a framework where humans and robots can collaborate, because neither of these components can solve this problem uh, efficiently otherwise, uh, which is a very urgent uh, problem. So recently we have received a National Science Foundation grant. This is a large grant with $2.5 million. Uh, it's a multi-university uh, grant, with, uh, but w and WPA is reading, leading it. Uh, what we are proposing is a framework like this that robots and uh, humans collaborate with each other. Here we have a robotic manipulation uh, aspect of it, which uh, robots should pick the plant, uh, the, the waste, a machine vision aspect, which basically detect for detecting the waste uh, for different type of materials, a uh, human machine interface that will uh, integrate uh, and achieve uh, efficient collaboration with human and machines. Uh, Techno-economic aspect, which uh, creates a uh, value analysis for the goods that we need to pick up in the first place, and psychology of work. Because as we change the means of work for workers, uh, we also need to make the new job definition much more meaningful, because we really don't want to uh, have any kind of negative effect uh, on the on workers in this industry while basically introducing our robots. So thank you very much. Uh, so our lab has many other exciting projects like assistive feeding, uh, performance match marking, and dexterous manipulation. 
come and visit us in Prescott. Thank you.